crews in Chesapeake are scrambling to get that damage overpass on the 168 bypass fixed before the busy Memorial Day holiday. Good evening, I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Maria Elena Baloris. Only Chopper 10 was above the problem again. City officials say a barge hit the bridge, damaging several girders underneath. 168 is how most visitors get to the Outer Banks. New tonight, 10 on your side's Lauren Moss talked with AAA about how this could affect your holiday travel. Crews are working day and night to get the damaged girder fixed. The city of Chesapeake tells me they don't have an exact time clock on how long the work will take. AAA says you should start getting ready now for possible congestion on your holiday travel. Preparing, preparing, preparing beforehand. It's a warning from AAA Tidewater to get ready for a busy weekend on the Chesapeake Expressway as families move south to get some sun in the Outer Banks. It's obviously going to be heightened, especially on a a week, a large weekend like Memorial Day weekend where people are looking to spend the weekend outside. Couple that with a damaged girder from a barge getting stuck underneath the bridge. And Ryan Adcock from AAA Tidewater says you could see more traffic. The damage that the boat did to the bridge backing all of that traffic up is obviously going to exacerbate the, the length of cars that are going to be sitting on the expressways. The city of Chesapeake tells me is opening both southbound lanes Saturday and Sunday, regardless of the girder repair status. Crews are working around the clock to get it fixed. The city previously told Tender on your side the repairs largely rely on the availability of specialized crews to perform heat straightening of the damaged girder. As repairs continue, Adcock says it's a good time to start planning out another route just in case. Going into Memorial Day weekend, that's going to be an issue and either making sure you're budgeting enough time for you and your family to get down to the Outer Banks safely or finding an alternate route to hop back on the expressway after the bridge. Again, the city of Chesapeake doesn't have an exact timeline for repairs. The city says it's working as quickly as possible to get it done. The bypass bridge will open the second lane on Saturday. In the meantime, it's limited to one southbound lane. I'm Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.